Welcome back gamers, it's Roll Easy, and I'm back today on the channel with a great glitch and a great video. Guys, we got the gift cards to friends glitch back, and it's pretty damn easy, I'm not gonna lie. Now, the reason this glitch is great is just because it brings people together, you can meet new people, I've met a bunch of new people who I'm gonna give some shout outs to, as well as getting really cool cars, you can even use this as a duplication glitch to get your friends retro. Guys, this is an amazing glitch, but I'm gonna go over some stuff first. Uh, shout out to the founder, first of all, Lost Glitches for coming up with this, good find, man. And this is what you're gonna need. Now, if you're wanting to get the car, you're gonna need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, you're gonna need two street cars and a friend's car. And you do not need custom plates for this, all right? So what you see right here on the screen is actually me. I'm going to get a street car, and you wanna park this inside of your MOC. So you want it to be empty at first and uh, you want a car that you don't care about in the MOC because this car is actually going to disappear. Now, also, what you're going to need, the other street car is, for the other street car, you're actually going to have to put this one uh, on the outside of the MOC. This is the car I do believe that the plates are glitching onto your new uh, duplicate. So, a lot of people are confused with gift cards to friends, what it's, actually, what it's actually doing. It's a duplication glitch, essentially. It's duplicating your friend's car. Instead of duping your own car, you're duping your friends. So here we go. You press right D-pad to get the garage full alert. First, you want to make sure you're getting the animation. And I would definitely recommend parking your MOC right by Los Santos Customs. You need a car that you can actually put into Los Santos Customs because that's how you fully get the car to actually save. So right there, what you saw me doing, I'm putting the random street car. I'm showing you guys every single step, uncut right here, what you guys have to do. Okay, so as you can see, my MOC was back there. That's my friend over here. Big shout out to T-God. I got a few more shout outs to give actually right now. Uh, along with T-God who has been awesome helping me get some really, really cool cars. We got Jay Dabs. Uh, give a big shout out to my boy Talent also who was in the party with us all day. Uh, you got Monkey as well and Wise, all right? Really cool guys. We've all been doing this glitch for hours and hours. That's why I haven't posted. And I think that I've come up with many you know, good tips to actually perfect this method and be able to hit it more consistently. Now, I'll go over some fails and some things that can happen, but right here, I'm gonna show you guys the glitch. So you see, he's waiting there, he has his car, my car's in the MOC, my street car, and here's the other street car. So I'm gonna hit right D-pad, get this garage full alert. Now, right now, what you don't see, I'm going to my dashboard, and I'm actually going to join a friend through the dashboard. Now, what's gonna happen here is, after you join him, you see it kicks you out of that, and then you have to click right D-pad again to get into the personal vehicle storage menu, okay? So in the background, I'm actually getting that alert that says, are you sure you wanna join your friend in the session? So you don't see it, but it's happening in the background right now. You wanna count up to 20 seconds at this point, okay? So you know, one Mississippi, count 20 Mississippis, all right? That's the best thing to do. And you really gotta listen to this part as well. So you're gonna accept the first alert and decline the second, but the, declining the second alert, you gotta wait. Okay, so watch this. I'm gonna accept this first alert right here. All right, any second now. I'm gonna go ahead and accept this alert and then I'm gonna wait until my guy gets out of the car and decline the second alert, okay? So there we go. I I'm, I'm waiting now and my guy gets out of the car and boom, I decline it. You wanna end up spawned outside. Now hop into your friend's car and look what happens. You actually teleport right there into your own MOC just like that. And the car is yours. All you gotta do now is actually drive it out and watch. His plates are gonna change. I got the 666 plates on there. So now as I drive out, the plates are gonna change to the streetcar plates. You see that? So now I have the streetcar plates right there. Now you gotta make sure you do this to actually save the car fully. So this is step one. You actually have to drive it right back into your MOC. Now it's your personal vehicle. It's saved as your personal vehicle, but the car still won't stick at this point. This is how you get it to stick and actually save in the game. So you drive it right back out of your MOC, and now this is why we're actually right next to Los Santos Customs. You're gonna drive it into Los Santos Customs and you're gonna change something on it. You can change your lights or you can change the plate. In this video, I'm actually changing the custom plate and putting a certain custom plate on it. And that's what's gonna make it stick. It's just like the CEO garage dupes where we had to do something to make the car stick. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to plates and I'm gonna change the plate because I wanna keep those Yankton plates on there so I'm not gonna change the color. That'll change the whole thing. And there you go, just like that. This car is mine now. I can go put it in my garage. I can do whatever with it. And his car actually duplicates, or the car duplicates, and his car now is actually on the street. So if your friend is worried about losing his car, the friend doesn't lose the car, guys. The, the, his original car will spawn down the street a little ways away, and he can see it with the icon on the map. Okay, so nobody loses a car here. Your friend literally gains a car. That's why it's an amazing glitch. It will bring people together. 
Now, here are some things that you guys really should know. First of all, you want to be in this area. I've had what much more success parking in this area with the MOC, okay? It happens all the time. Make sure you get the animation. Now, here's the thing. The car that your friend's giving you can't be too close to the rear of the actual um of the actual uh you know moc now in this one right here my boy saints is actually helping me that's saints right there in the background he's giving me one of his supercars and uh that reminds me not every supercar works we tried to actually get the xa21 and the xa21 wouldn't work it said the vehicle could not be stored so there are certain cars that are blacklisted uh i can definitely tell you that the the benny's cars will work all benny's cars will definitely work but certain sports and supercars might not work for you okay so this glitch, you can get cars that you don't have from your friends. You can use it as a duplication glitch. There's a lot of potential with this one, all right? So I'm going to go through the process again. I'm, I already have a streetcar inside of my MOC, and I'm, I'm getting another streetcar. And randomly, this one just kicked me out and said it's not my personal vehicle. That hasn't happened to me in a while. But uh, another tip, you can't have multiple friends in the session. All you guys, we had three MOCs at one point, do, uh, you know, and we were getting cars all together right here. You know, three MOCs parked, and we were doing the glitch, okay? So right there, there's my boy Saints, you know, big shout out to him. He was helping me really, you know, a lot earlier today. And uh, yeah, we got a few dupes and we were able to, it's a fun glitch. I'm not going to lie. And it's not too difficult. Okay. So here we go. We're going to do the glitch again. So right D-pad, I get the garage full alert. At this point, I'm opening up my dashboard and I'm going to hit join friend. When you hit join friend, your dashboard is going to collapse and it's going to take you out of that menu just like that. So you got to press right D-pad again to get into the storage full menu. Now at this point, you're counting 20 Mississippi because you're trying to get session details from joining your friend. And the session details alert will pop up in the background. You can't see it yet, but it's there. So that's why you got to count 20 Mississippi to make sure that it is indeed there. So when you're counting 20 Mississippi, all of a sudden you're going to go ahead and accept the first alert. There you go. And then wait till your guy gets out of the car right here. He's getting out of the car. Then I decline. Now I'm back down on the street. So accept the first alert, decline the second, run over to your friend's car, hop in, and now it's going to teleport you, see, into the animation inside your MOC. Uh, so, and that's the glitch. You spawn in there, and then, like I said, you just have to save the car at this point. Uh, some other tips and some other things as well. Uh, sometimes a fail, a uh, failed attempt, sometimes your car will spawn in the second bay. Now I'm thinking, I haven't tested this yet, but I'm thinking if you put the weapon workshop in the second bay, that might not happen, but I haven't tested it yet. So I have my empty bay, uh, I have storage, or sorry, bay two is empty right now, which is why I think that was happening to me. So as you can see right here, I saved the car by driving it back in. Now it's saved, it took on the plate of the actual, um, of the actual street car. But this car cannot be sold right now. It cannot be uh, saved because if you try to drive it into your garage, see, look at that. That's his car right there, his original, my duplicate. And the car can't be saved fully. If you try to drive it into a garage right now, it's going to revert back to that street car that you used to get glitched out. Okay, I'm going to be coming out with more videos on this for sure once I really, really perfect the methods. But there are a lot of things that you got to do. So now, like I said, you don't have to change the plate. You can just change the lights, you know, the headlights, and that'll make the car stick as well. But right here, I'm just changing the plates. I even changed the color on this one, but that's all you gotta do to make the car stick. Uh, you can change the, the color of the car if you're getting a sports car, but if you're getting modded cars, I would definitely recommend just changing the plate itself or the lights so that you can keep the, all the really cool mods. One more big tip, I tried duplicating a, uh, my friend had a half track, a modded half track, and I tried to use the half track, but you can't drive it into Los Santos Customs after that which is kind of a bummer because you need that for the car to stick. So since that's not an option, I tried actually renovating my MOC and then driving it into the, the workshop right there. And that didn't work either. I got glitched out in the workshop, but I couldn't actually modify the half track inside my MOC. So I have tried the Warstock vehicles and they don't work. If somebody can get them to work, please let me know down in the comments uh, if you can get, you know, any sort of Warstock vehicles to work. Cause I know a lot of people are trying to get, you know, oppressors and things like that. So that was one of the big things. But like I said, you can use this as a duplication glitch. If your friend has a retro and you guys want to just give each other retros, you can do this over and over again. It's a really, really simple glitch. So I hope you guys really enjoyed what I had for you today. Sorry it took me so long to post this, but I wanted to get this down and perfect for you guys. So that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys learned something like always. Make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments that you just want to tell me. Subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button. And turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. 
Peace out, guys, and have a good one.